Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about dirty shutdown in an Exchange server. So this video, we will see how this dirty shutdown occur and what are the best choices to resolve such issues in Exchange server. A dirty shutdown happens at the database level and this stops users from accessing the emails in the database and creating new emails, sending emails to outside or inside the organization. So you can call it as a total interruption to the service is the final result of a dirty shutdown. From the name itself, it is easy to derive the meaning of a dirty shutdown. A dirty shutdown means improper shutdown happened. This is also one of the time consuming tasks for most of the exchange administrator. First, let's understand why this dirty shutdown is happening to Exchange Server database. EDB files are the database files which saved in the database location of your Exchange mailbox servers. In addition to the database EDB file, you will see the transaction logs. So a transaction log is a file that contain a record of the changes that were made to an Exchange database. So transactional logs play a very important role in an exchange server. An exchange server maintains the data integrity by writing every transaction to a log file. So when you receive an email, instead of writing the data entirely to the database, it wait until the transaction to get completed and then write to the database from the transaction logs. So in case of any hardware failure or something happened in between then the transaction remain incomplete and it won't commit the transaction to the database and this may lead to some interruption to the database and that we call it as dirty shutdown the immediate result of a dirty shutdown is unable to mount the database and this is the point where we start troubleshooting to know the reason of why the database is not able to mount and to know is it because of a dirty shutdown we use ESE util. So what you see is the exchange admin center of my exchange server with the status of dismount for the only database that I have. So I want to find the reason of this dismount and for that I'm going to open exchange management shell. And I will run exe util command to see that is it because of a dirty shutdown. So now the exchange management shell is ready. So I'm going to run a command ase util slash mh then following to that the path of the database. So this will display some information about the health of my database so that I can understand whether it is because of a dirty shutdown or something else. So I have copied the database path, including the database name, then complete the exeutil command, then enter. And that will display a lot of information. And the point I want is whether it is a clean shutdown or a dirty shutdown. And from the state, you can see that it show you dirty shutdown. And below that, it clearly mentioned that there are some logs required. So the next step is to check the log files required are in clean state or not. If that return a clean state, then you can go for a soft repair. Otherwise, we need to do a hard repair using ESEUtil. So now let us check the state of the logs. And for that, you have to type ESEUtil slash ML. Then as you can see that my log files are in F drive, F slash db01 then after that you have to enter the prefix of your log file my prefix are e00 so it may be different for you so you have to go to the logs and find it out then once you enter the esc util details you can see the prefix from the log file here e00 so these are the first three letters that start the log files so once you enter the ESE util uh, slash ml then the log file path following that the prefix then simply enter that will show you the state of these log files. It, you can see that the operation terminated with an error and that is error missing log file. So I don't have the required log file here 
So if I have the required log file and this step completed successfully with a clean state, then I can go for a soft recovery. For your information, I will just show you how to run the soft recovery command. So run the following command escutil then slash r for recovery. Then after that, you have to enter the log prefix that is e00 for me, then slash l, then point out the log folder location. Then following to that, slash d that means database then enter the location of the database so now the command is ready to run let's enter and see what is the result so here it failed because we don't have the proper log because in the previous command we saw already the log files health state was not clean so we need to go for a hard recovery so let's try that now so to run a hard recovery Let's begin with the ESUtil command, then splash p that point out it is going to be a hard recover option. Then enter the full URL including the database name in your exchange server. So now the command completed. Let's enter and see what is the result. And the window now pop up in front of you explains that the transaction log files are not applied to the database in a hard recovery option. Do you wish to proceed so we don't have the transaction logs available so let's click ok this is a very small database of 200 mp so you can see that the scanning option and the fixing option uh, percentage complete quickly but that is not going to be the real time experience if it is like a 500 gb database or 2 terabyte database then this operation will take long time so now the operation completed successfully and I can mount the database. So you saw why a data shutdown happened in an exchange server database and how you can handle it with exe util. So I demonstrated you the exe util demo with the database and that is only a 200 MB size. So if you are doing this with a large database like a 1 TB or 500 GB then the operation may consume long time. And also once you complete the hard recovery, then you need to consider immediately to move your users into a new database. So this is the immediate operation that you have to do once you recover your database. So this is a very time consuming task for uh, exchange administrator. And because of this reason, many of the administrator prefer to use a recovery tool in this situation because the time taken to complete the recovery and to bring back the exchange services are very high with the traditional tools like exeutil. So exchange recovery software like Stellar Repair for Exchange is always a choice for exchange administrator because in, in addition to the exchange database recovery, it also offers a lot of other features like you can export each items from an EDB file. And also you can move your mailbox items from EDB file to a live exchange server or office 365 and it support all the exchange version also. So the Stellar Recover for exchange is available. Uh, you can download it and you can try to recover your exchange uh, mailboxes. So I have already installed the installation is a very straightforward step. So once you installed then we can begin the recovery. So I'm just opening the Stellar Repair for Exchange and here you can see that I have an option to select and point my EDB file. So this is my Exchange Server EDB file. I just upload it. And in the next step, I have two options. Either go for a quick scan which complete the scanning faster or I can go for an extensive scan. And let me go for the quickest one. And you can see that this will give you as you see in your outlook you can see all the calendar items or your uh, mail items and you will have a like a granular view where you can easily restore the items in an individual wise so now you can see that it displayed all the emails and i can see that the attachments based upon the icons here and once it complete this listing of your inbox items or any other folder items then you can easily like click on the individual items and if you want to save it as a PDF or you can save it as a message format you can do that or if you just want the attachment you can simply click on the attachment 
and you can download it also or if you want to click on the attachment and open it you can attempt from this attachment uh, column here now if you want to export this to an exchange server for example your exchange server corrupted and you only have your edb file you set up a new exchange server and all the services are running the next step is to ship your data from the edb file that is the only backup you have to the running exchange server you can simply click on the export to exchange server option and you can enter the email id server name and uh, user password and by this way you can migrate your data from edb to an exchange server the next option you have is to export to office 365 you can enter the mailbox id and password and this way you can move your user mailboxes to office 365 also and if you want a calendar based view you have this and if you want to see the contacts you can see it from here so once you open the contacts you can select the uh, user from here and that will display as you see in the outlook now in order to export multiple mailboxes together to a live exchange or office 365 you can select the user mailboxes from here then click on the save button that will take you to an option like export to live exchange or office 365 and you have to read the steps or the prerequisites that is uh, listed here uh, something like an outlook administrator profile need to be there you have to give user credentials like administrator so once you have the outlook profile prepared then click next and give the outlook password then also the domain controller name then administrator username and password for the mailbox then click next now you can see that the mailboxes that we selected in the as edb source and also the mailbox mapping status is not mapped so now we can select the mailboxes available in the exchange server credential that we have provided and once you select it you can simply click on the export option and that will export the user mailboxes from the edb source mailboxes to the live exchange server so this will help you to do in the time of recovery or migration the other way of recovery is using dialton recovery so in a dialton recovery the process involves creating an empty database on a mailbox server to replace the failed database and then you can recover all the users mailbox data from the corrupted one to the empty database that you created so the empty database that you created will be connected to the users immediately so if you have a downtime related to edb file then creating a dialton database and connecting to hundred or thousands of users will help you to keep them live and receiving the new emails and in parallel you can use stellar repair for exchange to recover the user's emails to the dialton database and that will help you to reduce the recovery window to perform this step you can follow the stellar documentation available i shared the link in the description you can follow it or you can simply click on this uh, window and that will take you to the documentation then the next option like we do the multiple user mailboxes to exchange server you can also export this to the office 365 also and to do that you can simply click on the export to office 365 option then follow the prerequisites like outlook profile must be administrator of office 365 then you can simply export the user mailboxes from the edb file to the office 365 accounts and now the final and the most portable option is to export as PST. So you can simply save the account as a PST. You just need to point the destination here and you will get the PST and that is portable. You can import it anywhere Office 365 or Exchange Server or even in Outlook also. So Stellar Repair for Exchange give you a very granular view and an easy method to recover your Exchange Server. So that is all in this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video and for more videos subscribe my YouTube channel.